Oh, I don't know how I'd live without this. Oh boy, Ron, you are the best. Whoa, whoa! Hi, and welcome to Good Food Matters. I'm Janet Zopala. I thank you for being here today. But by the end of the show, you'll be thanking me because you're going to have some great recipes under your belt that you can share with your family and friends and some really important tips about massage. So very important for our overall health. It gets everything moving. It removes the toxins. You just feel like a new person after that massage. And really, I've got a master in the house today, Ron Garcia. He actually happens to be my personal masseuse. I mean, everybody Hello. needs one, right? Hi, Ron. Hello, how are you? You know me better than most because you've been doing my massages now for how long? For six years. For about six years, but who's counting? And the body work is amazing. I mean, once he's done with me, I feel like a new woman. You do the yoga for us. You stretch us. You, you feel put euphoric. Me in a, you, you, euphoria is a good way to describe it. You used to be a professional chef, right? Used to be. Okay. Uh, 17 years ago. Wow. And now it, you cook for the family cook almost the family every only. night. Yep. You're from Manila, right? Yes. From the Philippines. Manila, Philippines. You grew up there. Uh, all my teenagers. You're going to be making something that's sort of, uh, I guess, indicative okay. of where you were yes. born. But is this something common, really common it's in It's getting the really common now because there's so many Americanized food that's coming into our country. So yeah. sometimes you need to change and get something different. And this one is always being done. So yes. instead of Lettuce here we have, wraps are very common here. Yes. Here we have the, uh, the uh, chicken that you use. Because the chicken, obviously, is a lot less fatty. You don't have all that fat. saturated exactly. fat. It's a lean, clean protein, something we should all have in our diets, okay. right? What else? And then we have the, uh, the potatoes will be added on to it. We're not going to put any more salt because we have the soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and then we're going to squeeze a little bit of lemon. So mixing the, the soy and the lemon taste to it with the potatoes, and you have a little bit of carbo going on. It's, this is a lemon. I thought wrap. it was a grapefruit. Look at that, folks. <laughs> it's from Lem my backyard. From your backyard. No pesticides. I love it. No okay. chemicals. And so we have all this, and it'll be come real quick, and then everybody can taste it later on. Excellent. We have a lot of hungry mouths to feed. And, you know, this is beautiful. Look at this. These, We're going to wrap that on this one. Butter, lettuce, and organic. You want to get organic when you can, because so many of our fruits and vegetables are highly sprayed with That's pesticides true. and chemicals. And we so don't have that today. And then we, no, we don't have that today. We want to stay away from that. Okay. So you've got the wok. We're heating up the wok. Yep. And then we're going to put some... Some oil to it. Now, what kind of oil are we using here again? We're using any kind of oil, but as long as it can take a high temperature. Is. And I love expeller pressed canola oil. That is the healthiest. No chemicals, no yes, heat. Yes. That's the way to go if and you're going to be using thing, it. Yes. And it's a good, a good cooking oil. And you also have your soy sauce. And your soy, as you mentioned. Now, do you ever use low sodium? Sometimes, but okay. most of the time I use the regular one. And just cut out the salt yes, altogether. Cut out the salt altogether. Okay. The stove is heating okay, up. So we're going to put some oil, and then let me set this up first. What are you putting in first? Back home, we use the garlic first and then the onion. And you know what I love about garlic, too? I mean, of course, I'm Italian, so I was kind of weaned on this stuff. But it really is a superfood. It's an antifungal, antiviral. And it's a mosquito repellent. Great for the heart. Great for the heart. It's a good antioxidant, so it keeps those free radicals out of the way because free radicals can really harm our cells. And then that, of course, makes us more open to illness. So this is the kind of thing you want to be eating. Lots of good garlic. And if you eat it raw, it's even better for you because it releases the sulfur and there's something called allicin in there that's super oh, healthy that. yeah but you don't want to eat too much garlic if it's raw because it can wreak havoc Absolutely. with your digestive system so you know a little goes a long way and sometimes too much of a good thing is not and so good we have this red mm. onion you usually said red but it's Ooh, all red that onion it's purple i love the purple red onion okay. again so we're get onions started. have sulfur in them too again very healthy vitamin c some dietary fiber which we all need so you're going to okay. go okay we're going to okay, start okay, with the, onion, the garlic we just yep. put about two tablespoons in there oh i love that sizzle and that won't take long right and it won't take long here's and your onion you have the <laughs> onion see the oh, smell yeah. already mm. Again, I always talk about smell of vision, if only. But folks know what garlic smells like, right? And then you throw in some onions. You can only imagine how great the house is starting to smell. Now we have our chicken. Oh, I love that chicken breast. You are zhuzhing up, as they say, the flavor. And that's what you have to do with chicken or turkey because it's pretty bland. Right. So you really up the flavor with things like garlic that's and garlic onion and, garlic and, and garlic. herbs and things like that. And so it tastes to me just as good as beef and you're getting so much more healthy nutrients. Once in a while, if you do eat red meat, it's not bad, but you don't want to eat too much of it. Right. Keep that saturated fat to a minimum. 
So let this just keep oh, going. Oh yeah. Okay, so over here we're gonna put about three tablespoons to four. All right. Mmm, that's gonna be delicious. So here you can Ooh. see they're getting there. Oh, that smells almost good enough to eat, Ron. As soon as it's cooked, that's it will right. be. <laughs> Gorgeous. Uh, nice, nice and juicy. Fine, and then when do you what put in the potato? When you put a little bit of black pepper. Okay. Nice. Now, would you ever put any red pepper flakes in? When you want some kind of spicy, yes. Yeah. But this one, because you just want to get them, you know, get just a starter okay. as we get to the main course. Yes, we're kind of tantalizing, getting the palate okay. ready for the Potatoes entree. Potatoes halfway cooked, so okay. they're al dente. One potato. And our lemon. Mm -mm. Fresh squeezed lemon juice. You've got your vitamin Rama C. Mm -mm. Vitamin C is so important for our immune <laughs> system. Oh, that's pretty. I think it's time to build. What okay. do you think? All Let's right, go get the lettuce and then get, we'll set it up. You've got the lettuce there and I've got your nice dish okay. here where we can assemble. Oops, oh, sorry. <laughs> right here, mm. well, you take the whole thing and oh, see how it is. Oh, that looks delicious. And I'll take the small one. And do you have oyster sauce here? Yes, I, think I did. you do. Where is it? Did you already put it on? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> mm. Better? There you go. I tell you, it's never a disaster when you're working with a master. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> I put love it. For the crew, yes. Mm -hmm. okay, right okay, right here. here. Delicious. So, folks, there you have it. Beautiful lettuce cups made so quickly and so easily and very, very good for you. And you can mm. take it with you. And you can take it. <laughs> I don't think it'll last that long. I know. My uh, taste buds are doing a jig. as you know, is all about holistic wellness. It's about eating well, exercising, and massage. I tell you, I live by it. If you haven't had a massage, you need to get one. And this is the guy to go to. Ron Garcia is a master masseuse. How you doing, my Hello, friend? Hello, how are you? So right, let's just... first talk about the health aspects of massage in general. Circulation. Circulation. As long as you get a good circulation, you got a good body. Uh, everybody needs a massage, either you're, if you're a construction worker, even if you're just sitting at home or you're on a computer. If you're and we're sitting, all on you a need, computer, we're yes. all sitting. Yeah, and if you're sitting, time. you have your lower back and your neck, and then you need a good better circulation, you need the massage. Now, if you're a construction and you do a lot of sports, you're, you're like, a, if you're a sports car, you only need to go to the, uh, the pit stop. So you need to, uh, you need <laughs> to continue stop. doing this. Yes. Right, right. So um, That pit stop is very important, right? All the time. Because we have to pay attention to what is happening in our bodies and so we have to take that moment the same thing you do with your car where you Absolutely. take it in for maintenance exactly. we have to do for our the same health. thing on people so yeah. it's like a balancing your chi you're continuously doing that you stay be healthy and the nutrition comes in with this yes eating healthily yes, eating when, healthy. and, and when you eat well you just feel well you've got the energy exactly. to do what you want to do so i know specific sometimes it's a little painful but it's a good pain Right? <laughs> but you have to remember, the pain is already there. The pain's and there. And you want me to find it, and you know I'll find them. And then you alleviate And I would release it for you. Yes, That's yes. The job. He is the master releaser. That's for sure. And I know that every time we do this, there's another area that we're kind of working on where I'm not feeling so great. The right side may be for right, terrific, exactly. but the left side is like, whoa, what did you do there? So what happened in those two weeks? <laughs> what happened is sometimes uh, when I touch your feet, Every time I touch you, mm -hmm. it changes everything. So it, it, you can be on this side, you're tight, and then the other time I touch you, I work on the person's body, whatever the fits tells me. I do all my diagnostic in there. So it's and all about the, re you. the reflexology. The reflexology starts. tells okay. me about emotions, what your body used most. And once I know that, every time I touch you, it seems like, well, how does he know that? Exactly. You, you notice that. Yeah. And then I would release it. If you, you, if you have it, if you have something tight in there, I will find it, and the feet will tell me. I just thought you were naturally intuitive, but it's about the feet. The feet. The, the feet, feet tell us a lot. The feet tell us all, right? I use them as my diagnostic. So there are different areas on the feet that relate to different parts of our body, yes, right? Different the right organs. is the right, left is the left, mm -hmm. and they're not crisscrossing. So if I touch you, I'm only working 
half of their body, and then, they, and then I will check what the other side is doing, so I need to know this, but I know this by heart, so to me it becomes natural. Yes, what I really want to know, take a look at this. Come on, <laughs> Bruce, come on, look at this face, this glow. 60 years old. Can you believe this? This is what I'm talking about. That's why what we do overall Reflect. is so important, right? It's about massage, eating, everything I've said. So what's the secret though with those <laughs> rosy cheeks I use glow? I, I use the natural I, one. Um, I, lemon, honey, cornstarch, and water mix. You kind of heat that up. You clean your face with hot water to open all the, the, the pores. pores. And then you put this stuff on your face. They're kind of like a... Like a paste? Like a paste. Okay. And then you will let it sit there for 30 minutes before you rinse it. And then it kind of wakes it up. And I've been doing this for the last six months. Well, As you age, you, the, you need something. The, you need your secrets. And I love the fact that it's all natural. It is natural. Right? That's why, no chemicals. No. That's why the reason why I like it, because it's yeah. all natural. And yeah. I'm on for lemon. Lemon, I drink the 28 ounce every day. And why? What does that do for you? Digestion. Yeah. And yeah. get that cut. That's right. Because the hardest things our body does is digestion. Yes. So if you eliminate all that, and you wait 45 minutes before breakfast, okay. and then you keep your stomach yeah, kind of get flat. Your, and get yes. your body going. We all want that flat stomach. Easier yes. said than done. It's That's digestion. a whole different story. And another thing that I know really separates you from the rest, and there are some great masseuses out there, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying you are different in that you make your own tools, for example. Oh, and you just happen to have yes. them. <laughs> and I know I created all this personally here. that these are amazing on the okay. feet. Yeah. These two here, I use it on the feet for reflexology. Uh -huh. And that points over there, I use it for acupressure points because some of them are really on the corner of Show your- Show it to the camera because folks like, need to see Like, let's say on this. the toes, you have that at the corner that I could easily get into the pressure point easy. And you had that handling. And then this one is like kind of the same as that. And you like put your thumb. finger in there and and you can really walk the t walk the uh, the tip there, and then there's a big one also to roll over the uh, the arches to loosen mm -hmm. up. And you have this. People have the big feet. If I use my hand, it's kind of hurt. Now these are reflexologists. Mm -hmm. Now this one is I carry with me all the time, and they be kind of hiding, and it's very light. You can tell that I'm using Let it. Let me see. So this yeah. is also a pressure point. That, oh, it I is mean, light. Yes, it's very light, yeah. and it's also the same way. So instead of using my hand, I use this, and also had that pressure. That I use in that and oh, yeah. continue doing this is Ooh. helped me a lot. Now I have another question for you because normally when I get a regular massage, maybe deep tissue for example, I feel very relaxed afterwards. Now with you, it's almost like a workout. It's, you can always <laughs> get the, the, the relaxing one somewhere else. Yeah. But to me, is I don't call it the massage, I call it body work. That's what it is, right? body, body work. Body work to the body yes. and then People are changing now. The, before it was just deep tissue and Swedish. Uh -huh. Now it's so much more. So they're looking for something more different. So that's what I give them. I give them the, uh, the Asian <laughs> Chinese style of massage. The reason why you get the client on the table, there's something going on there for you to release. Yes. So in another word, your chi is not balanced. Now when I come in, I will touch you and it tells me what kind of stagnant that you have. I have a 12 meridian to work on. And each meridian is also connected to 12 organ. Right. So in a way, the massage, you work it from inside out. Thank Absolutely. you so much. I'm a little bit uh, worn out after all that massage talk, right? So I'm glad you're doing most of the heavy lifting here, Ron. Well, you should be feeling good. <laughs> I'm feeling good, but I'm feeling even better thinking about what I'm going to put in my tummy pretty soon. What are we making here again? Well, we're making the, uh, the pancit that we uh, traditionally use all the time. Okay, and, and that's that a typical Filipino. Fili okay, Filipino and dish. And we always want to leave it long like this. It means long life. Okay, what, with the rice? The, 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 the noodles. Oh, they, the noodles? We need the to keep rice it noodles, long. Right? Yes. Okay. So you can't cut them then? Well, it's short life. Oh, no, <laughs> yes. you don't want that. We want a long life, so we okay. usually use it on birthday, any kind of occasion, because it's easy to make and it's healthy. So here we're going to go with the uh, garlic again and then the onion. Okay, now, okay we're going to put the garlic. Little, a little less red meat, you were saying, right? That's right. We, okay. uh, we, when I check the food, it's, it's just so much, so much meat. Mm. And then I'm trying to stay away from it. I'm trying to get be more in veggies as more you More veggies, which is, you've got pretty much the color much of the here. rainbow here, right? You've got the orange with the carrots and the cabbage and the celery. Love the onions. All of this is a great source of dietary okay. fiber. We're gonna have the onion. Oh, onions. All right, you've got your beta carotene with the carrots for good eyes and skin. Oh, and now we've got the pork, all natural, right? Nothing, no hormones. Yeah, less fat in it. 
So one okay. distinct going, we're gonna have the Is meat. this pork loin? What kind of pork is this? Or what part of Chuck. the Just what is it yes. the loin? Yes. Okay. Very so good. here it's starting to get pink. Look at how quick that pork is cooking. I mean, we're talking about a minute here. Okay. Again, a pretty easy dish. There are a little more ingredients in this. You might be a little bit intimidated because you're thinking, oh. We're putting oh, oyster sauce. He's putting oyster sauce now. And of course, we're gonna have a little soy sauce. So again, a lot of ingredients, but not a lot of work. This is a pretty easy recipe when it's all said and done. And, and it is almost said and done. A little bit healthy. And sort of healthy. Well, you're getting your protein from the pork. Just don't want to eat a lot of it. And your soy sauce, you kind of just eyeball it. How much Eyeballing you put in? Eyeballing it. So I usually, it's usually a four tablespoon of oyster okay. and ten oysters, uh, ten tablespoon of soy. Ten tablespoons of soy sauce, low sodium if you can get it, which is okay. pretty easy to do. You don't want to add any extra salt. Then. Now we have the uh, the stock already boiling, there so we go. can get rush up. Nice. Okay, we're going to get some of the noodles. Wow. You want to take some half of that. And oh, take, sure. And can you throw these in a frying them. pan with a little and oil and they explode, get crispy? Yes. Yeah, they explode. I love that. And they, they use it for garnish. And done. Two to three minutes. That was not bad at all. I would have thought it would have taken a lot longer. Now, using the same wok. Going to throw in your veggies? No, we're going to put the chicken oh, okay. stock again. This is your dish, not mine. <laughs> A little more chicken stock. Okay. And? Once it's still boiling, we're going to Can I put, help you? I'm gonna yeah, we're going to put all in. the veggies in okay. here. Okay, how about some cabbage? Want to start with that? Sure. Okay. Put everything. Mm. Oh, I love this. Some onion, a little more cabbage. How about the celery? Yes. Are you ready? Okay, here you go. Oh yeah, colors of the rainbow. Okay, we're gonna use this one, right? Yes, we'll have this bowl all ready for you. Now these veggies are gonna cook down pretty quickly too. Yes. You want them still crispy, right? Yes, I don't want them to overcook. Right. But it's gonna take over. And the more raw they are, the more nutritious the crispy, they are. Yes. You don't wanna, they're gonna be crispier and you're not gonna cook out all of the nutrients. And we're gonna put some black pepper. And black pepper. And it uses a lot. Oh yeah, you're not, that's not little. And I have to tell you, black pepper is also very healthy. It's an anti-inflammatory. And good for the circulation. And good for the circulation, that's exactly it. So pour it on. <laughs> oh, that looks terrific. Okay, now we'll bring this thing back. Because you're gonna combine it. Everything and together. this is good for everybody. Now, something like this, this recipe would feed an army, at least a small army, I would think. Well, we use, we use this one on a, on a birthday party. Every time we have a birthday party or anything gathering, this go. comes always. This, oh, if you go to the Filipino party, it's always going to be this. Uh -huh. That's See, a lot like. of rice uh, noodle there. Yes. And here Ooh, it goes. It's ready? Watch all your right. hands. Let's okay. put it over here. That was all of about five minutes, Ron. I can't believe it. Uh, How are your muscles? <laughs> it takes a lot. Of, I work out. It takes a lot of muscle. And Armor. that's plenty. As you can see, there's only a pound of... Mm. Now, what is this called again? This is pancit? Yes. And this is a, a, a very common dish in Manila. Back home, Manila. yes. We do this okay. all the time. And then whenever there's a party, there's mm. always going to be in it. And, I, and this is super healthy. It really is. This is great. I love and it. And then a little we'll garnish. A little bit of this. Okay. Now, what would you say to folks who say, that's a lot of ingredients? Well, it, it's, it's lighter. Once you get into it, because keep, keep, people keep asking, can I have some more? So we do always, <laughs> we do a lot they of always make a lot. And the nice thing about this is you can prep it. And once you prep it and you, you cut up your veggies, it's an easy dish to put together. Okay, we just... See, it's all about presentation. We eat with our eyes first, okay. right? So you want to make yeah. it pretty. So whenever you have a portion, you just... Put a little, little squeeze of lemon. lemon to it. Oh, I love it. And, and there then, you have it, a masterpiece. There you have it. All right, man of the hour. I've got the dishes. I'm ready Great. to go. Oh, some nice and we carrots. Just garnish this one here. Yes, okay. on that lettuce wrap. I love it's be it. Nice and Wait any longer. Again, pants it, lettuce wraps, and you can get the recipes on my website, JanetZapala.com. Thank you so much for joining us. And once you try this, you're gonna thank Ron Garcia here. I appreciate and this you. One goes oh, a little, a little lemon. Twist. Thank you very much. And that's your spoon. All right, guys. See you next time on Good Food Matters. It sure does.
loving it. I'm loving it. 